it's also very terrifying. Even just talking about it now, my heart is like, hi, thanks for being here. I just wanted to do a little update, introduction, I guess, depending on how well we know each other. A few months ago, I started posting those little Malcolm the Middle like guitar riff stuff. And some of you may not know this, but I've been writing music since 2015, 2016. So that's like what, seven, eight years, I guess. I've been sitting on like an album for like the past two, two-ish years. And I've been so scared to release it because I have this philosophy that if something isn't perfect, that it's not worth releasing. And it's taken a lot of convincing for me to put things out there. And I guess a couple of months ago, I was in a particularly low point in my life and I just stopped caring. And so I just released these random videos, not thinking they were gonna do well, but like a lot of people saw them and a lot of people were giving me nice comments. And it confused me because there were so many mistakes in those videos, like guitar notes that in my head I played wrong. You know, the timing was off, the tone of the amp was not okay. And people still like liked them and wanted to hear more. And it's really been challenging the belief that I've had that I have to be perfect or people won't even care to want to hear from me. And this isn't like, you know, a boohoo for Chrissy video because I am gonna maybe think about releasing stuff from the album that I've been working on. And I wanna do that. It's also very terrifying. Even just talking about it now, my heart is like beating. Well, it's good my heart's beating, but it's beating more than it should. And so I think I need to do that this year because, because I've been coming up on a year now sober. I found that when I didn't drink, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I have really bad arthritis pain in my in my hand. You can probably see there's like a little extra like bony thing there. Yeah, I found that when I stopped drinking, like my pain levels from that went down. And so I'd be able to play guitar pain-free and even drums, you know, for like the past five years or so, it, it's been tough to play for extended periods of time just because the pain's been really bad. I would have to take, you know, my medication to get the pain level down. And that medication isn't really great to take chronically. So the idea that I could play like music stuff more was so, was so awesome. And so that was the reason I stopped drinking. The downside is that I could no longer use alcohol as a crutch for when I feel sad, which isn't often, but it happens. And so for the past 11 months, I've just been trying to find ways to deal with the thoughts I've been having. And music has been helping. I want to continue doing that for as long as possible. And I think I like music a lot more than I like drinking. Or I like, I like playing music more than I like what alcohol helps me with. So I think I wanna keep doing that. I think I'm gonna try to challenge myself to release the stuff I've been sitting on. The other thing I'm worried about with doing that now is that it feels like I've struck gold and then if I do something different now, people are just gonna be like, see ya, you know? That's also something that's been rocking about in my head. And I think I just have to do it anyway. I still wanna do like these TV clip stuff. I really do like composing for, for like TV movie scenes. It's a really good way to do things differently, like songwriting wise. And I wanna still do that, but I, I also really wanna release this stuff because uh, these songs mean a lot to me. And I, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just like done, you know? I'm not done being scared because releasing them is gonna be terrifying. It is terrifying just thinking about it, but I'm done just like letting that stop me. But I also, I also don't wanna do this alone. So if there's something that you've been putting off doing, like something art related that you've been wanting to release and you've had some fear, or if you've been wanting to learn something new, like a new instrument, any new skill, and there's been something holding you back, I encourage you to just go for it. And let me know if you do decide to do something. Just write a little comment and I'll try to check in. Things are gonna be okay, is what I am telling myself. And you should tell yourself that too, because we just have to keep going. Life is tough, but we just have to find a way to make it through the day. So thanks for helping me make it through the day by being here. And if you need this reminder, just remember that I'm fairly certain that the world is a better place with you in it. So yeah, 
see you next time and uh, you're loved. Bye.